hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is olu i'm a nigerian living in Moncton, new brunswick canada and on this channel i talk about what it means to be an immigrant living in canada if today is your first time joining me thank you so much for joining me i appreciate your presence here please don't forget to subscribe and join the family subscribe right now and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back i appreciate your presence here as well in today's video i'll be talking about the top 10 things most important things that you need to do when you land in canada the number one thing that you need to do once you land in canada is um get your social insurance number or simply put sin um, social insurance number is a unique number given to everybody living in Canada. Even if you're a student or a permanent resident or you are born in Canada, everybody has the same number. Once you register for this number, this is a number that, you know, it's in the database of the government. Um, you can actually register for this number at the airport, but due to some COVID restrictions that is in place now, that may not be possible during this period. But when we came, it was possible two or three years ago, it was possible to register for your scene at the airport. If you are unable to register for your scene at the airport, you can always go to any Service Canada um, office in any town that you are going to. So for example, if you are coming to Moncton, just Google Service Canada in Moncton and you walk into their office uh, with your landing documents and register for your scene. The second thing that is important for you to get once you land in Canada is get a Canada phone number yes because uh, you will need to communicate with people people might need to call you um for easy reach you know it is um important that you get a canada phone number if you use like a samsung phone or an iphone back in your own country i'll advise you bring that here that way you are just paying for the service once you get a canada phone number but if not you might probably need to get like a phone and um the network um, provider together and maybe you end up signing like two-year contracts because you know you'll be paying every month for the phone so um if you have an iphone bring it if you have a samsung bring it um if not you can always buy a phone here the next thing you may want to do is open a bank account there are five major banks here in canada and some of them offer um incentives programs for newcomers or maybe student package um you may want to research on each of the um, banks go on their website read the types of accounts that they have or maybe there is a current incentive programs for newcomers or immigrants that way you may be able to choose which one is most suitable for you for example when we came different banks were given um immigrants incentives one bank might probably give um um, immigrants or newcomers ipad another bank might give them 300 dollars of course there are like criterias or qualifications that you need to meet before you get all those other than that some banks might offer maybe one year um no monthly fee accounts for newcomers so you may want to research on all the banks and see what particular program or incentive that they have for newcomers and um, at that time when you land and even if you go online you are able to book an appointment with your financial ad advisor and open that bank account so pretty much covid has made everything easy you can book an appointment online all by yourself for account opening in any of if you go to if you go into any of the websites of the banks so yes open a bank account once you land still talking about opening an account please get a credit card and this may be an important point to consider when choosing the bank you want to open because um the different banks have different um risk appetite on issuing a credit card to new immigrants some banks may bank a may tell you they can give you three thousand um credit limit card and bank b maybe may say oh they'll give you five hundred dollars credit limit card so you may want to compare which one will give you the limits that you want on your credit card and that will help you in choosing the bank that you want to open an account with 
but once you open the account please get a credit card because this system is a credit system and a cashless system everything is done by credit so you will want to get your credit card instantly and you know start building your credit once you land the next thing you want to do as soon as you land is register with um, immigration services or newcomer services or settlement agencies or newcomer agencies um, these agencies are non-for-profit organization and they help newcomers to settle down help you fill all the forms that you need to fill all your government um, forms like your child benefit forms um, notices of assessment forms and not only that they give you information about the benefits or services available to you and not only that they help you to review your resume um they do your cover letter for you resume writing they help you to make life comfortable for you once you move when we moved to canada in 2018 even prior to moving we registered with a um, newcomer agency in calgary i think the one we registered with was ccis so even before we landed we started taking you know uh, pre-arrival courses prior to we landing in canada here in Mountain, we have one which is Magma. I'll put a link to their website in the description box. So you may want to register. If you are moving to Mountain, you may want, it is important that you register with them. Well, not important, but to your benefit, I'll advise that you register with them because they will help you with all those documentations um get you let you know the benefits that is available for you and accessible for you as well um so yes register with them the next thing you will want to do is register for health services or health card and this is different um in the provinces that we have for example in ontario you won't have access to um health services um on the nine days after you land However, you still need to register once you land so that that day start counting. In Alberta, you have access to um, you have access to health services immediately you land. So, and that is one of the things that you need to do once you land. You know, register for your health card, do your health card registration. If you are moving to Canada on a work permit or a student visa, you still need to register for your health services. It is important you register for that because I've heard of a situation whereby a lady came in on work permit and she assumed that she doesn't qualify for health services here in Canada. So, and that's why it is important to register with all these um, newcomers agencies, settlement, settlement agencies, because they will put you through on all these documentations and registrations that you need to do. The next thing you want to do is get a bus pass or buy a car alternatively buy a car i've talked about the cost of living in moncton in a video here i think i'll put the link up here and i share the cost of a bus pass in moncton the cost of a bus pass in moncton is 67 dollars and i also talked about the cost of owning a car and maintaining a car so if you feel that it's better for you to buy a car right away you may want to try that and if you want to get a bus pass you may want to try that as well if you are moving to any other province you may want to research how to get a bus pass or how to buy a car in that province you are moving to or in the city you are moving to if you need to get a driver's license i have a video on how to get a driver's license in um, moncton or in new brunswick in general i have the link of the video down as well so in essence get a bus pass or buy a car once that is done the next thing you will want to do is find an accommodation and i think finding an accommodation is even important prior to you landing in canada so i talked about um how to find an accommodation in the video i'll put the link down as well you may want to watch that video to know what you need to do when you're looking for an, um, an apartment to rent so Prior to moving, start doing the re, um, research on getting an accommodation or build a relationship with the landlord even before you land. Build a relationship with the landlord, you know, send email, introduce yourself, if possible, do a virtual tour of the apartment that you want. Um, yeah, so it's important you get an accommodation. 
once you get an accommodation the next thing you want to do is if you are a parent and you have a um, child you may want to register your kids in school um prior to register registering your, your kids in school you will have to go to like the international welcome center where you do registration for any international student coming into canada and once that is done you'll be assigned to a school based on your accommodation so you need to already have an accommodation before you register your child in school um and if you if your child if you have a child that's not even of school age you may want to start looking for daycare um, because ultimately maybe when you start working you may want to put your child in daycare so once that is all those things are done the final thing i'll advise which is important that you need to do is find a support system it is important that you find a support system you are moving to a new country where probably you don't even have a family member you will need the support whatever support that you can get you will need it i know some international people have like whatsapp group facebook group um telegrams group try to find people living in your com community and you know join that team ask questions a lot of things come up that you may not even think about so find a support system that will help you to settle down all right so basically those are the 10 most important things that you need to do once you land and ultimately once you've done all this then you can start planning maybe you want to review your resume you want to start applying for jobs or if you want to go back to school you may want to start um, doing research on schools in your society but this first thing is you need to do before you um do any other thing else Thank you so much for watching this video up to now please don't forget to share subscribe like comment down below if you're already living in canada and if i miss out any of um if i miss out any important point please don't forget to write it down for anybody that is watching that needs that information and if there's any question that you have please put it in the comment section i'm more than happy to answer those questions but ultimately please subscribe all right so thank you so much for watching um i appreciate your presence here until we see you next time thank you bye take care